In this video, we're going to examine some out-of-the-box thinking for how to create some complex shape with our multi-body tools. Sometimes geometry just fights you. You just fight it and fight it and fight it, and you have a very hard time creating something that you think should be simple with traditional modeling tools. So what we're going to take a look at here is taking some of our solid body, new solid commands, split commands, things of that nature, and looking at how to develop a part when a traditional method would fail. So here I have the multi-body complex IPT from our working files directory. And I'm going to begin by creating something that eventually causes me a problem. So I'm going to start an extrusion here. And I have a profile on the inside, multiple profiles in here, that I would like to extrude. I'm going to extrude these two, this outside face. This is an offset surface. And I'll choose OK. So this is currently joined into the existing solid. Now, when I take a look at this, and I want to create a fillet that kind of blends into this for me, I'll go up here and grab the tool for fillet. And I want a 0.05 radius on this. And I want the 0.05 radius to blend all over this. So I want to basically choose the entire feature almost to blend in. And I also want the top to blend over as well, as well as blending into the bottom piece. So as I go through here, this is quite a few edges for me to pick, and I start running into filleting errors. So perhaps I should cancel that and try filleting the feature instead. So I'll choose the feature selection, the same fillets. Now I'm waiting for Inventor to figure out what's going on, and I still get errors with this. So I'm running into a brick wall. I'm going to cancel this. Go back to my extrusion 2 and turn this into a new solid instead. I'll choose OK. Now I have the housing in solid body 5 created. I'm going to start my fillet command again with my 0.05 radius, selecting the feature. Here I'm able to select all of these for blending. I'll choose OK. And I can see my fillets are blended. However, they're still not combined into the existing base. So we'll get to that in just a little bit. For now, I'm going to mirror this entire feature across my origin plane of the XZ. I'll choose OK. So now I have that on both sides. I'm going to turn off the visibility of offset surface 1 so we can really see what's going on there. And now I would like to blend that into the existing housing base. So I'll go up here to my Combine command and combine both solid bodies together. I'll choose OK. And now they're one complete item. Now if I want to fill it to blend into the surface from here, we can certainly try that again. So I'll grab my fill it here again with a loop. And there I'm seeing a valid result on these as they blend into the housing. Go to the other side. Grab those same loops and approve that. Lots of complex fillets here, so it took a little bit to compute, but in the end, it got me my desired result that I wanted to see. Next, I'm going to shell this, and there's again a lot of complex computations going on here. So when I do this shell for 0.03 inches with removing this face, I'll approve that. And I might sit here for a little bit why that computes, but we'll forgive it. It's complex enough. There we go. So now I have a really awesome complex shape that would have been a little bit more difficult to create with traditional means. Now if this needed to be two separate halves, one of the next things I could do would be to split this in half. So I could use my split command to split the solid and then eventually turn it into a subassembly or individual IPTs.